Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get visualizations from weather data and that helps your decision making process in uh, bioclimatic design. First, open your Rhino and go to options. You're going to make sure that our uh, Rhino unit set to meters. Click OK and open Grasshopper. Head to the Climate Studio tab and under Climate, Drop the last three components on Canvas. Now I'm going to feed all of the information that these components require to make those charts. Go to the params menu and drop a panel into the Canvas. We need a file directory to save our charts. Select the file location address, copy and paste it onto the panel. Make sure that you put a backslash at the end of the address. Give your chart a name. Two numbers for width and height. These numbers are also going to define the resolution of your chart. Then we need a weather file. For that, go to the EPW Ladybug tools and find Charlotte. That's the location that we are going to run the simulation and download either one of the EPW files from these weather stations onto your computer. The weather file is going to be a zip, line, zip file um, as extracted and go back to your um, grasshopper canvas. Drop a file path component on Canvas and right-click on it, select one existing file. Find the weather fold folder that you just extracted and select the file that ends with EPW. Hit open. And feed all of this information that you just made into this component. And lastly, I uh, I need a Boolean toggle to create the plot. Select the format that you want the file um, to be saved. I'm going to say PNG and set the Boolean toggle to true. And there it is, your chart. I'm gonna do basically the same thing for these two components to get the psychrometric chart and wind rules. Before you connect the information, make sure that you rename your chart. Otherwise, it's going to rewrite the new chart on the, uh, on the one that you already made. And this is the psychrometric chart. Now I'm going to move on to Windows chart. Don't forget to rename it. Select the file and the chart format and set the Boolean toggle to true. And here is the wind rose for Charlotte.
Now I'm going to move on to make the charts and visualizations for pedestrian comfort levels. This file is uh, shared with you. You can download it from Canvas. In this weather component, I'm going to set the location to Charlotte. If you don't see Charlotte location in this drop down menu, you can use similar file path that you already made in the previous uh, charts. Connect it to location and continue getting the charts. For now, I'm going to just use this drop down menu and select Charlotte. The universal ther thermal climate index component is going to iterate through all of the hours of the year, which are 8,760 hours, and assign a value from minus five to five to each hour based on the uh, cold and heat, levels of cold and heat stress. If you hover your cursor over condition, you can see all of those uh, ranges and their assigned value. Now I'm going to connect condition to data in this chart. If I give it a file path, it's going to save the chart into that location. Now, in order to better design the building operation systems, I need to know how many hours of the year are extremely hot or extremely cold, and how many hours of the year are in, in, the, te in the thermal comfort zone. So for that, use less than component. This is the first list of first numbers. And I want to know uh, which values are falling into um, mi uh, minus two category and the categories um, lower than minus two, which are 277. For the extremely hot hours, I need to know how many numbers are falling into categories of two, three, four, and so on. So I need the greater than component. Hours with extreme heat stress are um, 290 hours. Now, if you go back to condition, um, I need to uh, see how many hours of the year are in comfort zone. So no thermal stress assigned to zero. If I include slight heat and cold stress, um, then I, I need to see how many uh, hours are falling in between minus one and one. So I'm gonna need greater than and smaller than. So now the combination of uh, output of this component, these two components, is going to give me the um, thermal comfort hours. So I need it in. Hours that falling into comfort hours are 4,115. 
So now that I have the data from mm, the hours of uh, extremely cold, extremely hot, and comfort levels, I can use those data to make a chart. And here it is, it's the, it's the monthly um, comfort, and comfort hours and cold and heat stress hours. To save the chart, I'm going to give it the same file path. find a name and connect it to PDF. Now I'm going to get two more charts that defining um, te temperature range and dew point, as well as called irradiance. Using same component, same weather component, I'm going to select Charlotte as my location. And I'm going to feed the dry bulb temperature dew points into this component and connect it to Y data. To save the chart, I'm going to use same file directory that I used before. Don't forget to rename your chart. Using direct norm normal radiance and diffuse horizontal uh, irradiance, I'm going to plot the irradiance levels. And give it the file directory. And here is the irradiance chart. That concludes in this video, and I'll see you in the next video with more simulations.